This could be an absolute classic. This is my country. What a match. I'm proud of England. Cop hold of that. My fans. I've never seen the like, and I've seen some things. I fly the flag home and abroad. It's the power who's taking the glory. My people. That is as good as you will see anywhere. 16 times world champion. This man, the greatest of them all. Oh, we're green with a flying orange flag. Just not missing. I will show you who the greatest is. Extraordinary. I will show who's the world number one. Do I not like that? This is as good as it gets. titles. He is the record-breaking, history-making, 16 times, the champion of the world, it's Phil, the power. tribute to the man in green. You got the impression that Van Gogh was just drinking in the atmosphere there, looking into the distance and enjoying this. Have a listen, Rod. Incredible sound. That must be pushing the adrenaline running so rich through his veins. I mean, he'd be floating across that stage. 
I mean, he's got to be a little bit careful with Phil in the early part of the game, but I expect a big performance. We've already seen one great performance from one Dutchman in Roman van Barneveld, and I think we're going to see another great performance here in NVG. It puts pressure on him, though, doesn't it, a reception like that? When, when you get the adulation, you have to put in a performance. Yes, you have to, Dave, but I think Michael's in that place now where he doesn't accept poor performances. He's, you know, his poor performance is still at a high standard for him, so I, I mean, I cannot see a performance under 103, 104 average. Wayne Marvel and Rod Studio commentators for our final match of the evening. Thanks, Dave. The big man is back in town in Rotterdam to take on the greatest of them all. And Van Gerwen repeats his 7-5 victory over the power on this very stage last year. A victory that secured top spot in the 2016 Premier League, which he went on to win, giving Taylor a right royal toweling in the final at the O2 Arena in London's Docklands. Bill Taylor says he's up for it. He'll have to be up for it here because bad back or no bad back, Van Gerwen is a fearsome prospect. Started off very, very slowly, Michael Van Gerwen. The start of this match, I think, for Phil Taylor is absolutely crucial. I'm not one of these got-to-win-the-first-leg merchants normally, but I think Phil Taylor just needs to settle. As long as he's feeling OK, I think he can compete here, but Michael Van Gerwen with a tournament average of 104 against Phil Taylor's 96. If they both play to their mean, this will be one-way traffic. Um, Phil Taylor already mentioning what I mentioned to Dave Clark earlier about the stage being slightly unsteady. He is roughly, I think, the third or fourth player that said that the player walking back moves the player at the hockey. It's not bothering Michael Van Gerwen, though. I'm not sure if he's also alluding to any kind of draft. It appeared to be that he was wafting his hands around, indicating that might be a problem. He's not having a problem with these, though, is he? He leaves double top. But anyway, which way? There's not a lot they can do about it now, Wayne, is there? They're not going to reconstruct the stage at... Uh, what time is it? 10 to 11 at night. They're just going to have to play on, aren't they? are just going to have to get on with it. Well, Phil's just making an absolute meal of it. Maybe, just maybe, he's trying to make Michael think about it. Just slow him down a bit. Who's to say? Phil Taylor knows right now that Michael Van Gerwen is a better player than he is. So maybe he's just looking for something that will bring them slightly closer together. And if he can make Michael Van Gerwen... If he can put him slightly out of a rhythm, he will. I see your point. I see the three points going into the treble 20 for Phil Taylor. And then he took the first leg. Now with a chance to break throw. You alluded to it before the match, Wayne. Taylor, the record of three consecutive wins over Michael Van Gerwen on TV. The last man to beat him on TV. Way back when in September at the Champions what? League of Darts. And since then, Van Gerwen, 42 games unbeaten on the box. Quite incredible. He's going to have to improve here to win this. Averaging 75, Michael Van Gerwen. Indeed, Michael, you want to pull your socks up. All right. the kind of average that will give you half a chance of beating him. Half a chance, I said, man. Taylor here wanting 96 for a possible 11 data and a 2 0 lead. Still a chance with one above that for double eight, yes, double eight then. Superb, superb start. stage in his mind but it's okay when you're 2-0 up 
Michael Van Gerwen doesn't kind of seem like he's, it's bothering him, but he's just not hitting what he's going for as yet. I'm sure that will change. But to press, he's averaging 76. Taylor averaging 106 and change. You mentioned his tournament average of around 96, Wayne, but his best performance was against Gary Anderson when he averaged 104 in Exeter. And one wonders, does, does the great man need one of the real ace Arrowsmiths against him to get up? A visit with two trebles for Michael Van Gogh. And here's another for Phil Taylor. And this is most definitely not going to the strip expected by most pundits and indeed by almost everyone in this vast crowd. We're expecting to see their man dismantle Phil Taylor with a minimum of fuss and send him packing back to the United Kingdom. But what's happening here is the complete opposite. Has found the treble for Bull. This is important. Treble 19. Single 14. Tops now for 3 0. Oh my! Phil Taylor has not missed a dart at double in this match. Again, when he's only had one at double. That was the bullseye attempt we just witnessed. Yeah. Good Michael Van Gerwen be on the wrong end of a Taylor beating again for the fourth time running. Well, he started off an overwhelming favourite to win for the fourth time in six Premier League outings this year and moved to within a point of Peter Snakebite right at the top of the table. He's, he's unbeaten, isn't he? He's the only unbeaten man in the field, yeah. Michael Van Gerwen. But not unbeatable, it seems. Not on the evidence of the first three legs of this match. Though Van Gerwen should get on the board at the back end of this one. Taylor throwing at a very sedate pace there, I thought. Well, if he's going to have a stinker of a leg, which he is, 65. you do it on your opponent's throw. That's always the best time. But Phil, yeah, definitely. Definitely just that little bit more deliberate. A little bit slower walking into the shot. Just as quick as normal. <laughs> now the pressure on. The 3-1, tops. On well, the 180. Put the pressure on, but Van Gerwen swatted it away like an irritating fly and now wants to get going in leg five, but he'll have to wait because Taylor has the darts and still has a break of throw. And currently, eight points between the two combatants on the averages in Taylor's favour. Yeah, but there's, there's not eight points in current form because... Phil Taylor was averaging 107, Michael Van Gerwen was averaging the best part of 75. Now Michael Van Gerwen is averaging 900 and Phil Taylor 103. So one is on the up, the other, Phil Taylor, is just kind of loitering around the 100 mark, which is lower than before. Perfectly pitched dart, but he can't follow it, and hence the frustrated furrow. But even then, he did pick off the other big treble. 
good shape. And Michael doing the right thing. I expect this to go above the treble or in. One. That's what he did, played nice and safe. Make sure you leave that finish. Don't be ultra aggressive and hit a five or a one. Make sure you leave the shot. Even the best player in the world sometimes go for the big number. Yes, treble 18. Oh, Michael, the cheek of it, man, the impertinence. He's saying to Phil Taylor, you can't go 60-60, double 18. Barney took it out earlier when, didn't he? I don't care whether he gets it or not, that is not the way to do it. That's just... It's Phil Taylor, Michael, he can hit anything! I tell you what, he will love him, he will love that now. Well, correct me if I am wrong, Wayne. Michael van Gerwen tried that tactic in the Premier League final itself. And you famously said you shouldn't play mind games with the master. Indeed. But he's just done exactly the same thing. Yeah, well, I know, but he got away with it that time. And on that first occasion, Phil Taylor took out 160, didn't he? Yes. Well, Michael has obviously had his memory erased in some kind of <laughs> Harry Potter-style <laughs> wizardry. But on this occasion... Not have done as you say, but he's back now at 3 2, and Phil Taylor will feel irked, I should imagine. Well, mind you, he's done it himself a few times over the years, hasn't he? Every game. He did give him uh, a little look, as if to say, OK, mate, you think I'm not capable of taking out 1 5 6, right? The Ahoy in Rotterdam. What an arena! Van Gogh, and he's not anywhere near his brilliant best. We're back on throw. 3 0 up was Phil Taylor. When I'm ready, when I'm ready, well, that is what he'll be coming back for to level up the match. Remember, he was 3 0 behind. Now just two darts, potentially, away from being levels, you devils, here in Rotterdam. Double top. Yeah, the crowd are getting more involved now. And Taylor. Three legs to the good. Now he will feel completely different. He will feel under pressure. And he's showing it. I fully expect Van Gerwen to now punish that. I don't expect to see a score of 59 right now. Oh my word, how wrong can I be? Well, you're right, it wasn't 59, <laughs> was it? But well, it was a poultry 44 to follow the even more poultry 27, but it gives Phil Taylor the chance to make amends, but he has not done so. Wow. This is all pressure, ladies and gents. Between them, these are the only two players to have ever won the league phase of the Premier League. Bill Taylor won it from 2005 to 2012, and then Michael Van Gerwen every year since 2013. They know what it takes. This goes to show you the way they're both playing, you do not ever play the board. You, you're playing the man. Michael Van Gogh is playing Phil Taylor right now and he's not, he's not relaxed about it. No. But the fact is, Phil Taylor has dropped off mid-match here, and Van German, whilst not producing any of the fantastic fireworks we're used to, has now got a vice-like grip on this match, because he's won three straight legs, and now looking very good to make it four straight to take the lead for the first time in the match. Yeah. Michael is producing enough 
important at the moment. Bullseye 32. Game shot in the second so simple. Phil Taylor's face said it all. Ah, oh, that, that bit of class there from Phil. He clapped Michael's finish, said, well done. That was after looking exasperated at the situation he's in. Well, he's every right to because he started in exactly the way he wanted to. He ran off the first three legs straight, playing extremely well. To have Van Gerwen under pressure, not rattled, not rattled because he knows that he's the best player in the world and he knew there was plenty of legs still to come, but he'd have been feeling it at that point in 0-3, wouldn't he? Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. But right now he's in control. And Phil Taylor is not looking the same play going with authority in the first two legs. Well, he would have been looking for a ton there, I think, initially, to leave... 170, the big fish, the Grote Visse, the, the as what? we say here in the Netherlands. Superb, I like that. The Grote Visse. <laughs> Michael has had already one of those in the tournament so far in the Premier League. What is it again? We'll come back to it if necessary. If he throws four here, which is <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> but Michael now bossing proceedings. His average is just tipped over into three figures. Just. 100.77 now. And he'll feel confident now that he can ride the game out to secure another victory in the Premier League this year. It would be his fourth in six matches. Two twelves. No problem. Yeah, it's the way he's gone about it. I know Phil Taylor's dropped off. Started off great, Phil won the first three, Michael the next five, but the last two legs, Michael van Gerwen, from being 3-0 behind, then 3 all, has taken out 82 in two and then 78 in two. It's just a case of give me a chance, I'll take it, and I'll punish you for everything you're doing wrong. Well, it's going to put some Phil Taylor under some pressure. It's still very early in the piece, he's going to be in the the top eight and then we've got the seven rounds of matches to, to come as well but it's going to be outside the top four if he loses here as we leave the Netherlands and return to the UK for the Manchester leg of this tour and then Cardiff Super visit. One hundred and twenty. Oh, making a mess of this. A real mess of this. A two triple visit here. Or three. Put a bit of pressure on PT. Yeah, 109 looks a lot more awkward now. Oh, that's a lovely first dart nine then. For double top for Phil Taylor to win his first leg in six. Well, that was a real poor dart. Oh. 51 for 32. This for a point. Well, that was rushed. Rushed, I tell you. Oh, I don't know what Phil was gesturing there, but if it was a Michael Van Gogh in this, that was off. Well, it might have been 6 3. Although, to be fair, of course, Phil Taylor was first to double in that leg, but it might have been 6-3. Instead, it's 5-4, and Van Gerwen goes off with just 60, and suddenly, the game has a different complexion. This match may not be done. We saw a bit of this, didn't we, last year in the Premier League, uh, between Van Gerwen and Taylor. A match in Glasgow when Phil Taylor snatched a draw, when he was nowhere in the match, nowhere. And then here, Van Gerwen had... 
he was dominating from the get-go. So Phil Taylor will not feel that the match is finished. Lucky last start there for Phil. He uses pretty, pretty bulbous darts, pretty rotund things. Michael definitely let him in here. Well, that came out the handle wrong. That was flat. Went through the air too quick. It's just the hand not working. Maybe a bit of nerves coming in here. Well, he had six darts from 220. And he's going to need the lock. Well, he's going to need more than six, you'd feel. Well, I, I can't believe Michael Van Gogh has just done that. The, the counting from Michael... If he should have gone for bullseye, if he had a bit of ball, fine. 25, left 156. Wow. 5-3 to Van Gerwen. Looked all over. But now... That's all well and good, Michael. But Phil Taylor has still got three darts at 41. Double 16 to level up this match. Double eight, huge moment. Well, Phil Taylor's excellent play. He's earned himself a chance now. Well, a chance at that 41. Unfortunately, he missed, and then he gave a sarcastic clap to the crowd. Michael Van Gerwen wraps up a point. Well, there, was a, there was a few words being exchanged up there. Well, they're not being exchanged, actually. It's Phil Taylor saying everything. Well, in and amongst all that, Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen forgot whose throw it was, and it's Taylor. And he has to win this leg and the next one to secure a point. They're both feeling huge amounts of pressure, aren't they? Very true. And Van Gerwen, of course, having to deliver to the Dutch starting public. And Phil Taylor feeling all the pressure and trying to beat the man who's become his nemesis. It is tough to call. I don't think, because Michael Van Gerwen has the darts in the next leg, that he will wrap it up, because it's already been broken. Well, Phil's now realised he can't leave the finish, but that's just the way that is off 3.02. If you miss the first dart at any treble, you, you're scuppered. Getting interesting. Phil taking his time even more. Well, he would have craved two big trebles, probably three. He still needs the 180 cap, 2 1, but that's just been chucked away. And now Van Gerwen. Will well, Phil Taylor deciding to go for Bull's Eyes. Michael giving a little smirk, but he knows that he's got his man beat mentally. Phil Taylor is beaten, and now he's literally beaten in a darts contest by Michael Van Gerwen, who beats the 16 time world champ by seven legs to four. They exchange handshakes and looks. I don't think there's a lot of love lost. For Michael Van Gerwen secures second spot in the league. Phil Taylor will remain outside the playoff places. It wasn't a classic, but Michael Van Gerwen really couldn't care less. He won the two points.
brilliant pitches. Van Gerwen, broad smile on his face.